Gundam program. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thanksgiving if you are in Canada. If you are not, happy Monday. It is a brand new week. Starting it off fresh. <coughs> I'm sure those of you who are Canadians who are watching this have eaten your body weight in turkey and pie. So it's probably a good idea to hit the gym today after you've had your turkey coma. We went to Kindersley, Saskatchewan this weekend to visit Marcus's family. So we had our Thanksgiving dinner early. Um, so I'm just back to eating like a real person today. Um, I know last time I was telling you guys about the photo shoot I was prepping for and I was kind of just like doing my own thing and track my macros. Well, that really just wasn't going so well. I feel like lately I've been so busy that I'm either overeating or I'm under eating and I'm not really paying attention and who knows if I'm really getting even the nutrients my body needs. So we went to plan B and my coach made me a meal plan that is easy to follow and takes little prep and I can just eat what the sheet tells me, which I find is just something that I need. I mean, the way that you diet is so, so individual and sometimes the macros route works for me, but right now it just doesn't. And I have four weeks to get my shit together to get to the shoot. So we are back to meal plan. Um, I'm doing 35 minutes of cardio a day now, but I'm doing stairs and I'm gonna be monitoring my heart rate. So I'll bring my heart rate monitor to my workouts now. Um, I have like a love hate relationship with the stairs, but it does the booty so good. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do what the sheet says and that's just gonna make it way easier for me that I don't have to think about it. Um, I know that I haven't done a video in a little bit, but things have been kind of interesting, a little bit rough here and there. I may do a video talking about this. I don't know. I'm still deciding. It's kind of personal, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a video. Um, today I wanted to show you guys how I cheat this makeup look. It's like a really neutral brown warm type of eye with a slight winged eyeliner and of course my contoured face which is my favorite thing to do for my makeup so I know a lot of you guys have been asking about makeup and that's kind of the thing you're interested in right now so I wanted to do that for you and showing you some of my favorite um some of my favorite makeup items right now so that's what I'm gonna show you today um yeah, the winged eyeliner, when I did it last time, you guys were like, I don't know how to do my own winged eyeliner, can you show me? So I don't really know if I did a good enough job filming it to show you, so hopefully I did. Um, and hopefully you guys will try this look out yourself. I will be going to the gym today, so this is kind of a little bit, a little bit, a little, a lot of it of makeup for the gym, but that's cool. You know what, sometimes when you're feeling shitty, you gotta put on a new gym outfit and a cute face and just have a kick-ass workout. So that's what I plan on doing today. Um, let's get right into showing you guys how to do this makeup look, and then maybe I'll take you around a little bit more in the day. Uh, Marcus is food prepping right now. I prepped all my veggies last night, and then he made some rice for me and some proteins, so maybe I'll show you how I kind of put that together for the week and what I do with it. And then if I can bring you with me to the gym, I will because it's leg day and it's squats and deadlifts of all kinds. So that should be fun. Who knows? Maybe I'll be super dead at the gym because it's Thanksgiving. Maybe all the people will be there working their turkey off. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe you'll get a workout. Maybe you'll just get some makeup. Let's do the makeup now. Okay, guys, let's get this whole process started by priming my face. I am using the NYX Honey Do Me Up. It is a little bit tacky, um, but not sticky. It goes on really nice and I feel like it hydrates my face and brightens it up a little bit. Gets it all ready for the makeup that's about to go on. This is the first time I am trying this, whoops, it wasn't open, um, this foundation here. It is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. Um, I just wanted to try it out for some reason, it stuck to me. At the drugstore stuck out to me um, and I actually really liked it it's nice and matte goes on smooth um, I feel like it gave me quite a bit of coverage and yeah I just really liked it um, next I'm priming my eyes with the Mac paint pot um, just to set things up and to lighten my eyes up a little bit I like having that brighter color underneath my eyes 
eyelids and around my eyes are super dark so I find I always need a brighter base. So I'm using the Tartlet In Bloom um, palette and I'm using Flower Child for the base and just using a little sponge brush because I want to get um, the color like really compacted on to the eyelid there. Then I'm going into the crease with Rebel and using a nice little fluffy blending brush and blending it into the crease and then blending it up as well. When you're doing any type of smoky look, whether it be super dramatic dark or just neutral, blending is the key and the key to blending is practice. So the more you do it, the easier it will get. Um, next up, just to give it a little bit more dimension, I'm going in with a darker color called Weeder using the same brush and doing it in the outer V of my eye. Um, you don't want to go fully in because I want to keep my eyes nice and big and bright and open. Um, going in with the color Sweetheart, it's like a light um, nude with a little bit of pink undertone and then I'm using a bigger blending brush and just blending it out and making it nice and even and smooth. Now a lot of you guys have been asking about liquid eyeliner and the eyeliner that I use to get the winged eyeliner and it is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It is my absolute favorite eyeliner. I've tried a million different ones and this one is just the best. It lasts the longest and it's super, super easy to use. In this look I'm doing just a slight little wing and then attaching it to go up about three quarters of the eye. I'm not going all the way in today. Um, but even if you're a newbie to doing liquid eyeliner, this is a great way to practice. Next up, I'm going to give some dimension to the bottom of my eye, to my lower lash line by using that color leader again and I'm using a little bit more of a compact blending brush. It's not as soft um, and then just blending out the bottom lash line, going back in with Rebel and softening it up and then I'm going a little bit lower into the lash line and with this one again blending is key. Next up I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on my mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. I have tried a bunch of different um, mascaras from Sephora and high name brands but I find that I always go back to this mascara. It's my absolute favorite. So that is the one that I'm using today for this look. To achieve that falsy lash type of look without actually having to glue on eyelashes, I put on about two base coats of this mascara, give it a minute or two to dry, and then go back in and put the mascara on again. Moving on to face, I am using the NYX Color Correcting Concealer, and now that I look at this video, I'm not sure why I use this because the Tarte Palette that I'm going to use to contour my face also has the green and the peach red undertone color that I'm going to be using. But anyways, I'm using it just to bl blend out any blemishes that I have, um, and my cheeks are looking a little bit red this morning, so I put that on my cheeks as well, blending it out with the Beauty Blender, and then I'm going into my under eye area and using um, the peach, kind of red undertone to, to blend out those dark circles that I have under my eyes. I do spray my Beauty Blender with the Smashbox Photo fin Finish Priming Water. Um, it just takes out that cakey look that you can get from adding a little bit too much concealer under the eye. Then I'm going in with the Tarte Contour um, Palette and using the number one color and blending out my under eye, just adding a little bit more concealer because I am quite dark in the, in the lower eye area. Going back to that Tartlet palette, I'm using the brightest color there with the yellow undertone and I'm going to highlight all the areas that I want to brighten up on my face. So underneath my eyes, in between my eyebrows, down my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin and just below my cheekbones.
going back in with the damp beauty blender you can just wet the beauty blender as well you don't have to use the priming water and just blending everything out um, this is not actually the official beauty blender what I use are these little sponges that I got from Sephora which are like five dollars and they work just as well and I can replace them more often so I like to use these instead now I'm just setting all of this work that we did here with the Makeup Forever HD Compact Powder and my version of the Beauty Blender. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give some dimension to my face using the dark color in the Tarte Palette going down my nose, um, three quarter way down my cheekbones and around my forehead to really minimize the appearance of my forehead. If you have a small forehead, you do not need to do this. Going in with the Makeup Forever brush that I got, giving it a little blend and making sure there's no strong contrasting lines. Then I'm going in with the shade and light Kat Von D palette. Same areas where we hit it with the dark. I'm using the warmer dark color, blending it out and then using the light, going back in and setting it just one more time. For a blush, I'm using the Too Faced Love Hangover. I love this color. There's a little bit of a pink undertone with some peach and I just really like the look of it. So I have that on my cheeks. And then this is a new bronzer that I've heard raves about, so I went and got it myself. It is the Hula from Benefit, and I'm going back in and just hitting it where I basically had the dark contour. For my brows, I did a quick little, little brow dip from the Anastasia in chocolate i have my brows microbraided so i only add a touch of color to the brows they are already basically ready to go now i'm using the nyx stick in the brow lift just to brighten up underneath my brows and give it an effect lift and in my tear duct area to brighten it up last but not least i'm using my absolute favorite highlighter from Becca Cosmetics is a champagne pop, doing it in an exclamation point down my nose, a little bit on top of my cheekbones, and again in my cupid's bow just to give it, give my lips a little bit of a pop. Finishing off the look with lips and my favorite color from MAC, it is the stripped down lip pencil and then going in with their lipstick in Whirl. It is the matte lipstick. I'm all about matte lipsticks right now. I love them for the fall and basically winter here in Calgary. Um, and then just to give it a little bit of dimension on top of that matte lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Melted Chocolate in Chocolate Milkshake and just give my lips a little bit more of a pout. We have it ready to go. All right, guys, we are just about to head to the gym. Um, I'm going to take my pre-workout, but and while I do that, I'm going to show you how we organize our fridge and what we have in our fridge to set us up for a successful week. Let's take a look in here. I try to organize it a little bit so you guys can have a good idea. So these are my meals, well, my food. We have chicken there, turkey. I made taco turkey. Marcus made it, let's be real. Uh, broccolini, broccoli, what else is in there? Spaghetti squash, rice. So those are my meals and then I just weigh them and eat them as I go because I work from home so I don't need to have mine packed. And then Marcus has pretty much everything packed for the entire week. So he baggies his food. Yes, he is that bodybuilding person that eats out of a plastic bag but it makes it so much easier all the food is pre-weighed and it's ready to go and then you don't have excuses we have some steak he's gonna have that during the week not me and then we have of course our egg whites eggs and milk so that is what we do um, so we can have a successful week ahead of course breakfast is made fresh and a lot of time to spice up my food I pan fry all of these things together and add different spices and sauces and then to ensure that I get my water in I have one of these bad boys um, I don't carry it around because I don't want to be that person but I do pour it into my Starbucks cup and make sure that I get the whole thing in and then last thing my vitamins I get them ready for the week so I have my morning and my evening ones they're packed in here all I have to do is take them. That is what we do to have a successful week. Okay, we are just headed on our way to the gym. 
It is freezing outside. It is winter in Calgary already. Um, I'm going to train legs and do some stairs. And hopefully we can get some videos for you guys. They'll be shitty quality. They'll be on my phone. But we'll try to get some, some videos. Show you what we're doing. All right, starting off this compound leg day with wide stance squats. I only did 135 here. I wasn't feeling very strong at all because I had a little bit too much wine with the family this weekend and my hips are quite tight. You can see me leaning forward at the bottom of that lift. That is why I did four sets of eight squats here at 135. Moving on into wide stance stiff legged deadlifts, I did these at 155 and I did four sets of eight reps here. As you can see, I continue to use my squat shoes even when I deadlift. I have very flat feet and I find these give me a lot of ankle support so I use them just for my squats, deadlifts and hip thrusts. For my third exercise, I did sumo deadlifts here, um, and I did four sets of eight here. This is where you can really see how tight my hips are, because you can see that my butt goes up before my chest does, and with these type of deadlifts, you want to be leading with the chest. So it's definitely a time for me to do some work on my poor hips. The last exercise you see here is just a weighted jump squat and I have 95 pounds on the bar there. I finished it off with four sets of 15 cable kick packs and 35 minutes on the Stairmaster. All right guys, we just <coughs> got home from the gym. I can't believe I still have this cough, but I do and it happens every time I do cardio, which is going to be often now. Um, I mean, I was doing cardio every single day, but Nate has decreased my cardio and just increased um, where my heart rate will be sitting at during the cardio. So it kind of makes the process a little less painful, which is nice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it kind of spending the day with me again. Um, we did a little bit of everything. Hopefully you found the makeup tutorial helpful and now you know how to achieve that look for yourself. Um, hopefully the videos turned out okay from the gym. We did use um, my iPhone. I do have like a good quality video on that phone, but it's, it's not the same as a camera. And it is quite dark at Gold's Gym. But now I'm going to eat some food because I am freaking starving um, and a little behind on my meals. I'm gonna finish up a few client check-ins that I have left to do for the evening and then hopefully go to bed early because I have a long ass day ahead of me tomorrow. So thanks so much for spending the day with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any videos um, that you would like me to do, any recommendations, requests um, when it comes to makeup or workouts or food or whatever, anything you want me to talk about, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you had an amazing weekend and I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving if you are in Canada celebrating it. Bye guys.